Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the Yappening 2 operation begins next week on April 2nd and ends on April 30th. And today we're going to break it all down. So let's get right into it. So first things first, we're going to take a look at the Operation Pass itself, which of course is a 20 tier free battle pass. Starting off with the first tier being a backdrop called Loud Noises. Onto the second tier is an XP boost. Onto the third tier, we got the Zeta Radio emblem and nameplate pack on the fourth tier we got the turf war emblem and nameplate pack on the fifth tier we got our first weapon charm which is called yapster and yeah this is like a coin with yap yap on it is what it seems like which is pretty funny and on the sixth tier we got another xp boost on the seventh tier we got the truth tines emblem and nameplate pack on the eighth tier we got another emblem and nameplate pack except this time called nope and i feel like this emblem itself has a reference to something which i can't think of right now but if it does let me know because i feel like it is referencing something anyways on to the next tier which is tier 9 we got the grunt ball weapon charm which is pretty funny because this grunt plushie is actually in halo mcc as a backpack attachment so it seems like they brought it to infinite as a weapon charm which is pretty cool on to the next tier tier 10 is the ghost fleet weapon coating which doesn't look really that interesting it looks kind of like the jade canopy vehicle coating it looks similar to that in a sense but just based off this image yeah it doesn't look too crazy on tier 11 we got another xp boost on tier 12 we got a red steel van brace which is a wrist attachment on to the 13th tier we got the insurance plate hip attachment so we got some groin armor it seems like on the 14th tier we got a chest attachment called ua slash double guard on the 15th tier we got an armor coating called abundant growth which looks all right it's not too crazy on tier 16 we got yet another xp boost and on tier 17 we got the Buwin deaths visor which at first glance it does just look like a typical blue visor but it does have like a unique texture going on there it's kind of hard to see but on tier 18 which i'm probably going to pronounce wrong is another armor coating called gillub or gillnub special looks similar to maybe like a grunt armor color but it looks all right on tier 19 we got some shoulder pads which are called load bearing shoulder and yeah you're gonna notice that a lot of the armor here is like banished themed after like brutes and grunts and stuff like that and on the final tier we got the hawker helmet which is tier 20 and yeah this is pretty much like a grunt helmet um i think it's supposed to be a reference to the grunt mule helmet somewhat as the helmet attachment for this actually kind of adds on to that it's got like that y armor piece that the grunt mules have so um yeah pretty cool pass i mean as usual these operation passes have like half the items be filler stuff like emblems and stuff and then the other half is usually like armor pieces and whatnot and it seems like this one focuses on the mark 7 core and i do want to say that it's actually themed after yap yap which is nice because the last yapping event was completely different and just had like random stuff that weren't at all related to the yapping and this one actually is so that's good i do want to say i have a concern that this might be the final operation for this year at least that's what it seems like because this is the last operation that they revealed for halo infinite there was three operations which was the spirit of fire cyber showdown and the yapping 2 and yeah we haven't heard about any other operations so i'm i am pretty concerned like whether this is going to be it for this year or are they like hiding something else i'm pretty sure if they were it would have been leaked so i am a bit concerned about that but for the time being yeah this might just be the final operation who knows anyways with that being said let's move on to the next thing and that is the shop items that are going to be available during this operation because if you haven't noticed they absolutely load up the shop with a bunch of cosmetics every operation and of course they're gonna do it with this one and we're gonna be looking at some of the leaked cosmetics that i expect to see in the shop once this releases and if i haven't said it already this is all gonna be like banished themed armor so definitely keep that in mind and i do think it's pretty cool so let's start off with the first thing which is probably the coolest thing that we're gonna see in the shop and that is the bogart armor kit for the eagle strike core which is supposed to be like a grunt kind of mech suit is what it looks like it's got like the needler on his wrist and it's nice that they're actually showing some love to the eagle strike core because i feel like that one doesn't really get much to it so it's interesting to see an armor kit for it so we also got some other armor pieces let's take a look at the helmet the first one being the conqueror helmet which i guess you could say is sort of banished themed i think it does have some like lore to it that relates to banished stuff or i think actually covenant stuff 
stuff. Anyways, it is a remake of a Halo 5 helmet that was called, I think, Reaver or Reaper, something like that. And yeah, they're bringing it to Infinite now. Of course, they kind of like redesigned it a bit, just like they do with every other helmet that they bring over to Infinite. And yeah, so it's making its return as the Conqueror. It's also got an attachment which adds a horn and some like little radio pieces or like armor bits. With that said, let's move on to the next helmet, which is called Dukebi, which I probably pronounced wrong. This is another grunt themed helmet. If you haven't noticed already, it's got like the kind of gas mask to it. And if that doesn't sell it for you for being a grunt helmet, there's an attachment on it. And that is like those eye slit eye armor pieces that they wear in Halo Reach, I think, if I remember correctly anyways. But yeah, this is something that grunts wear. And so yeah, it's going to be an attachment to this helmet, which is pretty cool. So another Banish themed helmet that we're probably going to see is the Taskmaster helmet. Yeah, this one looks like a brute helmet. It doesn't have any attachments. So that's about all the helmets. Let's take a look at some of the shoulder pads. First one being the blue steel paladrons, which you could see right here. It's kind of like that fork armor. And we also got another set of shoulder pads here called the red steel paladrons. We also got some chest pieces. We got the red steel heart plate, the white steel heart plate, and the blue steel heart plate. And a lot of these cosmetics are on the Rakashaska core, and some of them are on the Mark 7 as well. But yeah, that's about all the armor pieces. There is some new effects we're probably going to see. First one being brands of Vallejo, and then the second one being brands of Doisak. And of course, there's also going to be a mythic effect called Rhythm and Ruin that we're going to see in the shop. Um, but yeah, these are just images, so we can't really see how they look when they're animated. But you get an idea of what it's going to sort of look like. Now let's take a look at the weapon models, because there is going to be new weapon models that are Banish themed, and you're going to definitely see why. The first one being the Vicious Bulldog, which has a giant knife as like its stocks. I will say, gameplay-wise, it is going to be weird using these models, because there is certain weapons that have bladed stuff already. Any bladed weapon that you see in Infinite does have like a slight increase to like its melee damage just because of the blade. It's always been like that in like Halo 3 as well, um, and I think like Halo Reach and stuff. But yeah, it is going to kind of mess with the gameplay. I don't know. I think they look sick, but it is going to mess with the gameplay. Anyways, enough of me yapping. Let's get to the next thing, which is the vicious sidekick. And this is a weapon model for the sidekick. And yeah, once again, you got a giant blade that you can stab people with or poke people with. And I like this one as well. On to the last weapon model is the Vicious Spanker. And of course, now you could say it along with me, it's also got a blade. And this one's also got like some serrated edges or little bits of bikes on the edge of the barrel. But um, yeah, I mean, I really love seeing weapon models in Halo. I think it's awesome being able to customize your weapons and stuff like that. But with that being said, that is about all the cosmetics that we can expect to see in this operation for people who like buying stuff. Now let's move on to what I think we might get for like the event mode or playlist now this is going to be mostly speculation so take everything i say of course with a grain of salt but i think we're probably gonna get at least one new map and that new map being corrosion which is a dev made forge map that has a bunch of like acid on it and apparently i think it's supposed to have like a zip line or something like that and the reason i say it's gonna be this map is because well with the cyber showdown 3 event we did get one new arena map called elevation which was also a dev made forge map and there were several dev made forge maps that were leaked a while ago which one of them was elevation the second one being Corrosion, which is the one I'm talking about now. And there's another one called Skyport. It seems like Corrosion is the one that has been updated recently. So maybe we'll see this come along with this operation. I also want to mention that Arthur Bloodshot, which is a person who has gotten, I think, many Forge maps into matchmaking. So he probably got some like insight into what's going to happen with certain stuff. Anyways, he pretty much just retweeted this where Halo was, you know, giving a little tease about the yapping and whatnot. And he says here that a little surprise will come along yap yap's plan so maybe he's teasing something i don't know if it's gonna be a map or if it's gonna be like a mode i mean he could be teasing anything but because he's like a forger and creates maps i'm gonna assume we're probably just getting a new map maybe it could be a grunt themed map i don't know but we're certainly getting something that's for sure so with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and liking the video. Are you looking forward to this event? Let me know. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.